15 things you didn't know about Zara. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome back to another amazing video. We love iconic fashion brands and the most popular has been affordable Spanish brand Zara. The first Zara store opened in 1975 in Galicia, Spain. The brand was created by Mancia Ortega and his then wife Rosalia Mera. The brand is a part of a larger retail group and produced revenues of $15.9 billion individually in 2016. The brand was founded on the basis of creating versions of high-end looks for affordable prices, setting it apart from many other high street fashion brands both then and now. Because Alux.com is dedicated to being the world's best resource on the most incredible fashion brands, we just had to cover one of our favorite fashion brands. Here are 15 things you didn't know about Zara. Number 1. Zara launches 12,000 new designs every year. Zara was first conceived as a brand that would provide cheap, fast fashion, and that has definitely remained at the center of what Zara does. Their business model is based on producing new looks as quickly as possible, with a close eye on the catwalk for inspiration. Number 2. Zara's founder is the richest man in Europe and the second richest billionaire in the world. With a net worth of $71.9 billion, the 80-year-old Mancia Ortega founded Zara with his ex-wife in 1975. He owns the Intidex Group, the world's biggest fashion group which is in 91 international markets. His fortune is entirely self-made, working as a shirt maker and developing his own designs at home with his wife. Their designs turned into a multi-billion dollar retail business. Ever wonder which country has the highest population of billionaires? Check out our video about the top 10 countries with the highest number of billionaires. Number 3. Half of Zara's products are still made in the brand's home country of Spain. Every item Zara sells will go through their huge Artexio site in Spain and half of them are made there. Zara's sites have been established in the Spanish region of Galicia and their staff are paid a living wage, which is rare in the retail industry. Number 4. Zara was originally called Zorba, but a bar two streets away had the same name. Zara's first store was called Zorba and opened on a corner next to a dentist in A Coruña in 1975. They had to change their original name when they discovered a nearby bar had the same name and would prove confusing. They used the lettering they had already bought, plus a spare A to create Zara. Number 5. Zara has become the biggest retailer in the world to commit to getting rid of toxic chemicals from its supply chain and products. Greenpeace started trying to convince Zara to ban toxins from its production in 2011, and it took Zara just 9 days to agree to their scheme. They plan to have eliminated toxicity from all stages of their production by 2020. Number 6. Zara's warehouse is 9 times bigger than Amazon's. We hear a lot about how huge Amazon's stock fulfillment warehouses are, but Zara has beaten them by a long way. The Zara warehouse is 5 million square feet, which is 9 times bigger than Amazon's on average. Number 7. It only takes 15 days for a Zara garment to go from the design stage to hanging in store. Ortega transformed his retail business model in the 1980s to make it much faster. He changed every aspect of the design, manufacturing, and distribution process so that the fashion he sold could be instant and people could access trends quicker. The industry average is 6 months. Number 8. You're unlikely to see a Zara advert on TV. The brand has a policy that doesn't include advertising. They view it as wasting revenue, so they invest money into opening new stores instead. Their swift production-to-store model also means that they ensure shoppers visit their store more regularly than other brands to check what new stock has arrived. 
Number 9. Zara has come under fire on two occasions for producing items that appeared anti-Semitic. In 2007, Zara took a handbag off the shelves because it appeared to have a swastika on the design. They also removed a children's pajama top from their stores in 2014 because it appeared to have a yellow Star of David and blue stripes, making it resemble the uniform of Jewish concentration camp prisoners. Zara apologized and are probably keeping a much closer eye on their suppliers from now on. Number 10. Zara spent $324 million on a store space on Fifth Avenue in New York City. Zara's American flagship store is at the coveted address of 666 Fifth Avenue. They're in great company next to Saks Fifth Avenue and just a few units away from one of the most famous stores in the world, Tiffany's. Number 11. Amancio Ortega still has lunch in Zara's staff cafeteria every day. According to a 2014 piece in The Telegraph, the 80-year-old might be one of the richest men in the world, but he still likes to eat in the staff cafeteria every single day. Ortega now has a non-executive position on the board at Zara and owns about 60% of Zara's parent company, Intidex. He's also very private and never gives interviews. Number 12. Even Royals Love Zara the Duchess of Cambridge, Kate Middleton, is a fan of the Spanish retail giant. She was photographed on the red carpet wearing a Zara necklace, and that's high praise considering she has access to the crown jewels. Number 13. Zara window displays are mocked up in their Spanish headquarters. The aesthetic of Zara stores is very important, so they plan out all of their window displays before they send their clothes out to individual stores. With a life-sized street inside their humongous headquarters, they can see how their displays look to scale. Number 14. Amancio Ortega was the richest man in the world for just one morning. Ortega is extremely wealthy, as we've established, but he's not quite the richest man in the world. He briefly held the top spot on the 23rd of October 2015 with his net worth of $79 billion, but Bill Gates beat him again within just a few hours. Number 15. No photos of Armancio Ortega were available until 1999. The Zara founder and boss likes to keep a very low profile. No one really knows when his birthday is. He wears the same blue blazer and white shirt every day and apparently prefers a simple lifestyle. Revolutionary and innovative, Zara has truly changed the way affordable fashion works. Their unique model is the fastest in the retail business, allowing them to distribute high fashion looks to their customers at top speed. No wonder their founder is so ridiculously wealthy. Zara produces 12,000 new designs every year, so you're spoiled for choice when you step into their store no matter what the season. If money was no object, would you be stocking up on their tailoring or those super cool Spanish leather goods? Oh, you're still here? Well, here's another amazing thing about Zara that you may not have heard before. When Britain left the European Union in June 2016, Ortega lost $6 billion. Ouch! Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.